Hey guys, Allison here. Okay, I am titling this video, Timing is Everything. And I'm doing that to kind of throw you off a little bit, all right? Timing is everything. God's timing is perfect. And we really need to kind of wait on God's time at times, right? But I want to talk about something else. Most people that I encounter, myself included, feel a little overwhelmed, a little overstretched these days. There's a lot to do a lot to balance, a lot to manage. And sometimes we, we feel like we have like a never ending to do list and it's always running through our heads. And now different personalities deal differently with that. All right. My husband, he does it, he forgets it and he relaxes me always got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. And then if I do this, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this. I have never ending to do lists. I will never get everything done. I've accepted that. But I do get a lot more done than I used to. And I want to share a little secret that I learned that I found really helpful. Julie Morgenstern's book, Time Management from the Inside Out. I've probably mentioned it before. I think it's awesome. I recommend it. I'll put a link under this video. But one of the suggestions she made, and I found it really helpful, is that make your to-do list and on one side write down how long you estimate that's going to take. And then time what you're doing so you know how long it actually took you. And you're going to be in for a lot of surprises because there are certain things you may put off that really are five minute things. And then there are certain things you may jump into when you've got about 15 minutes available and they're really two hour jobs. So one thing I found, I found some tools that I am loving. Clockify is like a free app that you can use that will tie, I don't get a commission for this. Um, that you can time all of your tasks. You can put them in categories also, and you can put tags on them so you know where is my time actually going and where can I streamline, you know, how can I anticipate how long I need to do something? Like I know it takes me three minutes to make my bed. Sounds ridiculous, but I've timed it because if I'm ready to leave and I've got five minutes, I can actually make my bed. But sometimes you put it off because, oh no, I've only got five minutes. So knowing certain things like that can be really helpful. So I recommend find a tool like that. I like Clockify because it's really easy. There's others, there's Xpunch, there's all sorts of things in the app store. Many or most are free, especially for like individual users. Start to get a better handle. Also, to take a little time every day to organize your tasks so that you know what you need to do the next day and what you don't need to do. Because if you put them in their home, let's say this is going to be done on Thursday, it's not on your mind on Tuesday, you just focus on the things that you've scheduled yourself to do on Tuesday. Now, for many of you who work full-time or maybe part-time, that puts some bones in your schedule, for lack of a better term. And you know, I've noticed that people who work full time probably have a better system than I ever had because all right, I know I get out of work at five, and that's you know this night I do food shopping, this night I do this. All right, when you're self-employed or if you're a stay-at-home mom running a household, it can be a little bit more difficult. Or if you, you know if you own a business, so getting some tools in place and learning how to schedule them. Julie Morgenstern talks about like. If you, you know, your physical space, all right, if you have a bookshelf that holds a hundred books, you know you have room for a hundred books. Same thing with our schedule, all right? So think of like your day, your calendar as a container. How many tasks will fit in there? Well, I don't know unless I know how big the tasks are. I find that really helpful. If you're struggling, reach out to a life coach. We have organizational coaches. We've got people who can help you to balance your life. Um, business and entrepreneurial coaches. Sometimes we need help setting those goals that are going to be attainable and kind of creating a plan to make them attainable. Think of your home also, especially moms who are home, maybe homeschooling kids. You're running a little business and never sell yourself short. You have so many skills and I think by also writing them down and getting getting familiar with them, you're gonna, it's going to be very empowering for you. But getting a handle on how long things take and how to manage your schedule. Please, please, please schedule in breaks. You need to take a lunch break. You may need to take like just a, a walk in the middle of the day. That can be real helpful too to kind of like change the channel in your head when you're doing intense work. 
Most productivity experts will tell you when you're doing you know, a particular activity, usually 90 minutes is about our attention span, maybe two hours. So to schedule those blocks of time can be really helpful. But again, know how long it takes. Timing is everything. Time it so you have a better handle. And you're going to find it's going to be revolutionary for you. I know it's been for me. So I hope you find that helpful. Reach out to a Catholic Life Coach on CatholicLifeCoaches.com. If you're struggling, because maybe sometimes depression or anxiety is getting in your way that you can't even really focus, reach out to a Catholic therapist. There's freedom for you, and there are tools, and there are people out there that can help you. And God wants you to be thriving. He wants you to be free, and he wants you to be happy. All right, remember that. He really wants us to be happy. Baltimore Catechism, to be reasonably happy with here, supremely happy with him in heaven. So we started here by getting a handle on some of these things in our life. Hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to like and share the video and share it with your friends. God bless you.